Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your You versus Them reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer. All right, please take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. We're going to tap into your energy. We're going to tap into your person's energy, and we're going to see how the two energies are colliding. All right, this is for Cancer. I've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the Divine for Divine Assistance. So, Cancer, let's go ahead and get started. Look at the messages, please. Alright, top energy will be your energy, Cancer. Queen of Wands, the Sun card, and the Strength card. Bottom row will be your person's energy. Alright, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Alright, so... Cancer, it looks like you are in a connection that you are actually kind of happy in, all right? Somebody that you, you find them very attractive, right? You find them, um, they just really spark your, your, uh, spark your fire. They do. They do. They, they give you that, that spark that you're looking for in a connection, right? Now, I do feel like you are moving forward with this person or willing to move forward with this person, Right? Feeling very proud, you know, of this connection in some way, shape, form, or fashion, or feeling like you have to, you you have to, um, it could be that you find this connection, you know, very fiery and, and you're having the strength and courage to continue, you know, even though there's a lot of fire between the two of you, you know, it may be, you know, to where it's a bit overwhelming for you, but you're still moving forward in the process. Now, this person, you know, when it comes to you, they, you make them feel very content, secure, abundant. Um, they, this person, okay, so Cancer, <coughs> this person views you a lot of the way that they're looking at you is because of your finances, like you're a very financial a financially stable person and a lot of the reason that this person wants to hold tight to you is because they have financial stability with you they're coming from a place of heartbreak so i feel like you know yeah this person is not being 100 percent honest with you a lot of the reason that this person is trying to connect is because of you are financially you know secure so just want to put that out there now, this piece, they're not telling you, they're not being 100% honest, you know, and forthcoming, but it's not, it doesn't mean that this person doesn't care about you, but this person comes from, you know, a situation or maybe their previous connection, you know, where things were not stable, things were not financially gainful for them, and this person looks at things like, you know, yeah, I like cancer and everything. I like this person, but I'm still going to make sure that, you know, there's a benefit here. There's some form of benefit here for me, just in case it doesn't work out. Hmm. Now, I feel like between you and this person, sometimes you guys, you don't see eye to eye very, like, I'm not going to say very often, but there's a lot of times where you don't see eye to eye with this person. Um, a lot of that is because this person is not being totally transparent with you about who they are and, you know, what they've been through. And so a lot of the way that they communicate towards you is based off of that old baggage that they're bringing into this connection, I see. Now, you you were willing to move forward in love with this person, but that that when you guys have these, what appears to be very immature, you know, maybe arguments, it makes you second guess things and wonder if this is really, you know, what you've been hoping and wishing for. You second guess it. Yeah, so 
you second you start to second guess it and wonder about other options here you know if you're making the right decision it makes you want to move on past this person because that's not what you're here like you you're not here for that kind of energy or for somebody to throw you off balance like that's just not what you're looking for right now and although you do find this person very attractive and you are very drawn to this person, that's why the strength card was there. It takes a lot for you to stick around and try to see this thing out to see if this could, you know, possibly work out. Because you, you start to wonder if, you know, sticking around to harvest in this connection is even worth it. For some reason, this person constantly puts you in a situation of feeling the need to defend yourself. You know, whatever it is, this immature communication that this person does or that you and this person tend to engage in and this conflict constantly, whatever it is, it's an it's a it, it comes off as an attack towards you. That's the way you're feeling. And it puts you in a, a position of, you know, constantly having to defend your stance on things on your actions constantly having to defend your stance on the actions that you take yeah you're just trying to stay balanced but this person king of wands a lot of fire with this person you know it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with but this person has a lot of fire and they spark they they don't always bring out your the good in you Yeah, it's like sometimes this person makes you want to work together with them, but then at other times you're like, fuck this. I, you know what? Let me just go spend some time alone to myself. Give me some solitude because I don't got to put up with this. It's kind of how, you know, it's like this person, you're constantly in a energy of needing to balance yourself out when it comes to dealing with this person. Because like I say, one moment they make you feel like you want you want to have equal give and take with them. And the next moment, it's like, fuck this. Or, you know, something like that. Okay, Cancer. So let's continue. This is for Cancer. So I'm on rising. What are the messages, please? We're not going to take those two that fell out. Look at the messages, please. We're not going to take that one that fell out. What are the messages for the sign of cancer? What do we need to know for their highest good? Their energy versus their person's energy, please. Cancer on the top row. Their person on the bottom row. What are the messages? confusion engagement and romance yeah that's the, it's like you want again you want to move forward with this person you know you can see yourself being with this person you know long term i do feel like you know romantically you are drawn to this person but that confusion where they they keep you off balance is right smack dab in the center and it just it, it throws a wedge in things for you it does this person like i said i've seen them constantly making you feel like you have to consistently you know defend your stance on things or defend yourself you know and whatever the conflict that you guys consistently have person this person again they're looking for stability they find you very you know financially you know stable and abundant 
and a lot of the reason that they're sticking around is because of that okay um this person you know they look at you as a a blessing but i keep feeling like it's a financial blessing that they're looking at you as you know but at the same time it's like one moment this person it's like they feel like you're a blessing and a curse because you guys consistently you know have confrontations one moment they feel like oh okay yeah this is working out good next minute they have the oppression card feeling like you know what fuck this too i can't continue to be in this either you know this is driving me nuts type of situation Overall, they, you know, they view you as a kindred spirit. Overall, you look at them as needing to, uh, to evolve and needing some spiritual guidance. and total transparency was at the bottom that's just a call that someone needs to be 100% honest somebody's not being 100% honest which I already seen that in the first spread I'm talking about the intimacy card total transparency right I feel like your person needs to be 100% honest and open about what they truly want what they're looking for um you know what they expect from you what they want from you. like they need to be totally honest a lot of the conflict that you guys are having is because you're thinking one thing but but the situation is something whole totally different but this person because they're not being 100% honest with you you can't you know it, it's causing a conflict because it's like you're you're you know talking the talk but you're not walking the walk it's the way you're viewing the situation with the person like okay you say this but you do that Tell me about confusion, please. Why is it here for cancer? Okay, so cancer, you kind of have a hunch that that's what this person, you know, is here for, what you have to offer them. And that's the part that you find very burdensome about them. You know, yeah, you don't feel like this person is coming from a place of love. So you kind of, you're aware. You're aware of this at this point. Like, because you're starting to look at the bigger picture, realizing, okay, you're not just here because you're looking for love. There's something else going on with you. All right. Tell me about oppression. Why does Cancer's person have the card of oppression, please? Why is it here? Yeah, you see, they feel stuck because they're not, they're not trying to have this it's not all about love for them. Tell me about blessings. But they want they want to be in a connection, but this connection is not all about. You see the conflict in energy yet again. It's like they want stability. And even though they're not 100% happy as it relates to love because you guys are constantly having conflict, they stick with this. They want a love situation and they're going to stick with this situation because of the blessings that they deem there's behind you know, this connection, which is that stable foundation. Tell me about stable foundation, please. King of Pentacles, that's what they view you as. They find you very abundant. And that's a lot of the reason that they're sticking to this connection. Now, you're wanting, you're looking for long term, you know, in a relationship. Tell me about engagement, please. Why does Cancer have the part of engagement? Okay, so it is just what I said. You want, you that's what you're looking for, something long-term, someone to share your life with. But you're starting to realize that this person ain't it. Rising, what are the romance angel oracle messages, please? What are the romance angel oracle messages for cancer? Some rising, what do they need to know?
past life relationships. Pay attention to the red flags and trust. All right, so again, past life relationships. That's this person bringing that baggage that I seen that they were bringing to the forward to the connection. That heartache, that baggage that's left over from the heartache that they experienced. And so now when they reconnect with people or they connect with new people, you know, because they need they need to have faith and trust but they're not they're not bringing their trust they're trying to secure themselves or make sure that they get something out of it but you're paying attention to these red flags at this point you know the red flags are kind of slapping you in the face at this point and you're starting to pay attention here yeah so just be mindful about how this person deals with you cancer because this person's, their intentions, it's not all in the right place here from what I'm seeing. Communication here. Pride. Physical activity. So, this person, again, a lot of what they are, they're coming with. I feel like a lot of you sticking with this person is because you just don't want it to not work, right? You don't want it to not work. But this is, I, I don't see that this is the connection for you. Even with this spread that I'm, I'm looking at, it doesn't, it doesn't appear, you know, you've been ignoring the red flags because of pride right just wanting this to just work wanting to you know believe that you did not make the wrong decision and who you chose right this person is bringing baggage with them you know from uh past connections past relationships that they've had that didn't turn out in their favor but they're not saying anything or if they are they doing it in a way to get pity from you Yeah, they're doing it in a way to get pity from you. Tell me about physical activity, please. Yeah, so this person, it's like them parading around like as if, oh, yeah, you know, this is the connection for me. You know, I want to, you know, pour into this connection. I want to feed this connection, but that's not. They're here for what they can get. This person is, in a sense, breadcrumbing you. You see, the Ace of Cups just fell out as a challenge there. So it's like they are pretending to be one way but that's not the case they feel like you're a giver you know, i see that you're a giver but you're constantly having to be put in a position to have to defend yourself or be mindful about how how you offer up to this person because it's something about this just don't jive with you but you still stick in it because it's a pride thing with you. You don't want to be, you don't want to end up being wrong about the choice that you've made. Or could be that you've invested so much that you just don't want, you know, to be, you don't want to accept the fact that this, that you were wrong. It's what I just keep getting. This person was the wrong choice or you, you know, you're ignoring these red flags because you don't want to acknowledge that this person was not the right connection but you're coming to accept that this ain't what it is you know when it comes to this person here you know this is not what you're looking for I'm really not feeling this. I'm not feeling anything in this one. So it looks like this is what I have for you this week. All right. If this resonates with you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. If it did not resonate, that's okay. Watch your morning rising sign readers to see if there's any messages there for you. And make sure you come back weekly for the weekly updates. Thanks for watching.